Tiny Homes on a Friday night, October 6th. <laughs> this is my boy right there. <laughs> we were working a little late at 6.30. I wanted to show everybody real quick what happened today. We had a really gang bust today. I know we're going to come on tomorrow night for our feature night of fun, technical, comedy, life, loving life, and showing you guys just giving you a good Saturday night. Here is a home from a lady that we built was going to have in San Diego. She changed her mind because she couldn't find a good place in San Diego to live. She's coming to Tennessee. She's on route right now. Was in Oklahoma this morning. She'll be here tomorrow morning. Was in in Memphis this afternoon. 24 foot. We showed it before. We're hooking up the water heater to the gas to make sure it works. We just hook up. Let me show you the water. You shoot it in there, and I'll get on the other side. Okay. Uh, there's no way I'm going to explain to you guys everything that's going on here. All right. But this is an eco temp water heater right here. All right. We mount them in here. We got ventilation. Here's our gas lines. have all been checked. Now, the water system. What we found was we got three filters up here. All right. Roma has a bathtub. She's going to consume a lot of water, even though she's off grid. But it's going to be recirculated, and so she won't lose it. But out of these three filters, hey, John, come out of there. What was the smallest, what was the level on a micro? One? One micro. All right, explain that just a little bit. What's going on there? So we got in, in the hole, John. In yeah, the yep. So we got a one micron uh, granulated activated charcoal filter. Then we have a five micron carbon filter. And then a 10 micron sediment filter. And, and what have was it the problem we had? Remember we had to tell them? For, for, we had three of the one microns in originally, and uh, it basically dropped it to a half gallon, and then down to a quarter, and then down to an eighth of a gallon per mm -hmm. minute. Yeah. So it wasn't, wasn't keeping up with what we needed. So we had to add the extras and step down these two, because mainly this is the, we only needed one of these to make it work but we had three originally. So this way it gives us more flow and uh, we still have the filtration down to the micron level. Right? right. Okay, so what happens is we, we, we tripled these filters. She'll go for, missed three times the filters now. She was close to a year. These will be last, you don't have to touch any of these filters for over a year, okay? Because normally these last almost a year. We got tripled it and the reason we triple it up now it triples the volume we just cut our lines there turned on the, the faucet inside and we filled up a gallon jug in a little less than two minutes we have a 42 gallon tank underneath the house so it'll take about 80 minutes to fill it you know if she takes a bath takes 30 gallons she's good she got hot water she can take a good bath it won't drain the fresh water tank this is the dilemma we've been having because we got a fresh water tank and a gray water tank. The gray water tank will go through all this filtration, then dump into the fresh water tank, right? And that's what we suck out of the fresh water tank to use inside the house. Any excess water goes back into the rainwater barrel. The rainwater barrel is also filters. Everything is filtered. That rainwater is filtered through these micron filters. And that's what we got. Now, when you want to get to all these switches and valves and all this stuff, I ain't got a clue. That's where John's got, got it all rigged up. But it's been working, right? Right. John's the brainchild of this. I was just the big picture. So, anyway, that's what we worked on today. We're hooking up her, her water heater it's right now. To, it's ready. You can go play in hot water. Is yeah. it running? Could be. Let's, look, switch, Let's go right. try it. Oh, good. Switch way in there. I'll get it. Thank you. Her house, they're putting in the mini split. Um, Adam and his brother are here. Put that in. One second. Whew. Sorry, I had to turn off my Wi Fi. Uh, like oh. Listen, tell me if that's warm water. They'll believe you, they won't believe me. Oh, yeah, that's warm. Warm water here is working. Warm. Wow. Awesome. Ouch. Hot man, it burnt me. Got third degree burn. Let's see oh, if this works. You got any leaks in here? Oh. Ouch. 
This is awesome. Look at that bathtub, man. Nice and hot. Hold on. Put your little body in that thing right oh, there. That's nice. All right. The pumps are running. We got two pumps. You can hear them a little bit vibrating on the wall right there. I got that fan blowing. I can't really tell. But one just kicked off. Mm -hmm. So what happens is this water goes into the, the gray water tank under the house. The gray water tank, we got two pumps. One's for the gray water tank. One's for the, the home usage in your, in your um, faucets. So now it'll keep pumping until the gray water tank is empty and pumps into the fresh water tank. The reason we had to have a fresh water tank is because one of our filters can only have 15 pounds of pressure. These things put out 50, 60 pounds of pressure. So we, we had to backstage it, have a, uh, a fresh water reservoir, then we put pressure on it to get to our fixtures. Technical stuff. I mean, you gotta be really smart to understand this. Only Adam and his brother understands all this stuff. <laughs> I have not a clue. We're gonna get in here and clean this up. Adam's getting the heat in there. They're losing their mind on that. These are really tough. Up here, those are supply lines for the coolant. And as you can see, they have to be cut to fit. Put, show them down there on that mini split laying on the floor. Yeah, you got them right down there. and It comes to where they're already soldered so that's you can't really mess with any of that they're soldered and welded together yeah so that's why we have to kind of make it really precise up here yeah so you don't you don't you can't change this but up there they have to change the length of those to fit now look at these things that's copper right there, it doesn't flex it doesn't move or anything so what they've done is they've set this up there measured the lines and had to cut them with the couplings to make sure they're going to fit and when they get up there they don't have like just little bit to, to flex and make that thing fit right where they want it and then you've got your condensation line this is a problem we had see this right here this is a condensation line that comes out that's the the condensation comes out of the unit when you need an air conditioner okay this is a joint this here will run in the wall we have a piece of pipe in the wall already and they'll cut this and shove it down inside that pipe for the water to go out but we've been having a problem right there that leaking so we took some Lexel, which is some sealant, and that clamp, put that around there. Um, and then we got to make sure that this is covered because if it gets humid in the house and air conditioning is running, this will sweat. And we've had some units sweat. So now we're learning to cover all that. And then what we'll do in the future is we'll take our, our condensation line, move it over to the right, and it'll come down away from here. Technical stuff. I mean, I'm just like... I'm just above and beyond everybody around me. It's hard, it's hard to be an eagle around a bunch of turkeys. You know what I'm saying? God, arrogant. Let me turn mm -hmm. my phone down. Nobody's calling me. Okay. Hot water. You got it, man. And that's correct, right? The gray water system is pumping to the fresh water. Just get the, get the sound of pump. That'll pump. So if we pumped, let's say we lost two gallons. It's gonna take four minutes to pump that water that was in the gray into the fresh. It takes approximately two minutes to pump a gallon. But it's absolutely charcoal. All these filters, right? And we had poured, and we'll show you all, but we poured that almond milk in that big 500 gallon tank and I got in there and swam in it about a month ago. <laughs> the following week it turned black. John couldn't even put his head in there, didn't it, John? Yeah, it, it was making me sick just to smell it from the almond milk. It was coming out literally this color. Yeah. <laughs> and then we ran the whole tank through the system, right? And it's clear. Yeah, doesn't even smell anymore. It's been a week and you can't smell it. And it's the same filters we got over there. Yeah. They're still good. So the only thing we've had to change is some uh, this relay switch thing. Oh, we added the one to and this the low, yeah. yeah. That way it only uses the gray water when there's water in the gray tank. Yeah. That, that way we're not just cutting the, the flow by half pulling out of that tank. Because uh, before, if it was pulling from both, we'd only get half. So that, that way it makes it a lot easier. It fully empties the gray tank in the process. 
clue what he said. <laughs> Something about water and half and half. Half quarter half. pump Something. switches and yeah. grade. <laughs> you hear how it's making a little funky noise right now where it kind of acts like it overdoes and then stops. Have you heard that in the last couple seconds? It gets like a twitch. Where I have the hoses kind of blocked off on the front, if we had the water tank over here, mm -hmm. it's actually filled the other tank and it just doesn't know where to put the gray tank. Okay, because we don't have the, the, the rainwater tank right. hooked up yet. So, so the way we're testing it right now, it's it's only running because uh, there's nowhere for the gray water to go. Yeah. But right. the other tank's already full. Cool. Awesome. Can um, so we just turn it off? Yeah, sure. Think. Turn it off. Um, now we can hook to city water if we wanted to, but we have to have our sewer hooked up, which we have a slide valve over here. You can have city water hooked up to this if you don't want anything to do. And you go to an RV park and you've got city, you take this because you don't want it, you don't want that city water to be filling up your gray water tank and it goes overflowing. You open this up, hook up your sewer, just like you had a, at a RV, right? Right. Okay. Everything's identical. Everything's identical to an RV. And then of course here's our power. Right now we're hooked up to 110. <clears throat> I love these plugs. You can go to 110, 30 amp, or 50 amp. So we'll tell them plug that because the heat and air system they're putting in is a 220. So we'll need a 50 amp plug. <clears throat> now it's a 50 amp, but it doesn't draw 50 amps. Nothing in there will draw 50 amps. She's got a gas range, right? Yeah, that gas water heater. If you put an electric range, that would be the only thing that would yeah. come close to the 50 amps. Yeah, and in the, the Mitsubishi heating and air system is just like super efficient. Three or four. She's going to eventually be on grid. Uh, I mean, off grid. When we get our solar panels in, she'll be in next week. We've got six customers we'll be installing for. We just got our lithium batteries, which was awesome. We just got them in a couple days ago. <laughs> They're nice. Yeah. Right. All right. And heavy. I just want to run really quick, let you guys go. What we did today. This is a workshop. As you can see, it's ready to go. All of that's done. We got the plumbing in over here. I'm going to show Joe's house. Thanks, John. Probably too dark, and we've unplugged everything for the night. Hey, damn it. Yeah, unplugged. Unplugged. Joe's yeah. house is done. Is it too dark in here? This. It's like the stay. See this bed? Can you see this? The light. Yeah, just a little All bit. Right. This is the elevated bed with the bark wall. What he wanted is this. This pulls out, and there's some stairs. He wants to pull this out. He wants to be able to sit on his bed. Right? And then when he, and he sleeps, and he's got a sofa underneath. And then when he's done, in the morning, he can have that bed elevated up. We put T and G on the bed, so when you look up, you can see a nice, pretty ceiling. All right, that's what we did today. So that makes one, two, three. We framed this one in, it's cantilevered on the top. That's the fourth house. This is Penny. Um, Cindy's over here waiting on Penny to get home from work. She works at Walmart. She's waiting to get here so we can finish her wood floor. Alyssa, you're going to have to move. Come on. I don't want to make them sick. People, people are going to get bored with me. I'm just so I know. boring. You're just, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. This is, this is Miss Cook's house. We're going to put the windows in in the morning. You can see the soffits are done. This is a workshop. We'll be putting this home over where Roma's is. We'll also be putting... Uh, Kenzie. Kenzie came in from Oregon. She got in here yesterday. She got here a little early. That was fine. She came in early to help. As you can see, this is all framed in now. It's got, it's got one, two, three, four roof systems. It goes from flat to four degree to 15 degree to four degree. Tom framed this in with Bryce and Joseph. She'll have a roof deck on there and actually a hatch that goes up through the roof. All right? Or up through the ceiling. There'll be a hatch in there. I don't know if anybody's ever going to see this video, but a loft and a loft over there. Now that makes one, two, three, four, five, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. We got a 12 by 40, 12 by 36 home, we'll show you. We're going to start framing it tomorrow. This is Heidi's house. Heidi's still. Heidi, you in there? I am. Can I show you your kitchen? Yeah, come on up, Mom. Let me show her kitchen. All right, I got Facebook on here. That's okay, come on up. All right, let me show you. I'm just a little messy. This is her living room area. 
through here is god it's awesome and a big old loft up there there's your ship slider the ship slider actually hinges and goes up and we'll show you that later when she's down here but she's used the luon plywood all over the walls right and then what i love is she uses tape and look at that tape over the joint it looks exactly like luon where'd you get that tape at Lowe's. Lowe's. what would we do without Lowe's? All right, there's her floor. Yep, and this is her kitchen. Now, let me get back here. Her kitchen is upstairs. Yep. I, I know, I don't know where to put the light. What if I go like that? So her kitchen is upstairs, so we're looking down into the living room. Is this not cool? Now, there's her counter. Yep, underneath there, and then you can sit at the counter, right? That's cantilevered over. So you can sit, there's her range, her big fridge. And then she bought this, she brought this sink, paid 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks for that sink. And it's got the old time drain board already hooked to it. So we're elevated looking down into the living room. It gives it a whole different feel. And we're gonna have a ship's ladder to come up. You can see where she's been sleeping. And then in here's her bathroom. Right. Uh, I just installed this today. Oh, cool. That's your step. It franked it in. Inside that is her tub. Yeah. That's a big old plastic tub. <laughs> Look, and then that's her pedestal sink over there. Yeah, it's not completely put together yet. This bottom half goes with it. She's been doing all kinds of knickknacks. That's her toilet. Let me get that light a little better over here. Get oh, you're all right. You're fine. <laughs> no, you're good. Rotate your phone. There it is. All right. There's her toilet, her pedestal sink. She made that medicine cabinet. That's her exhaust fan. We're up in the fifth wheel right now. So we're up high. So there's her washer and dryer. So actually, we're in the bathroom, right? And you walk into the kitchen. And then you take a ship's ladder down into the living room. And she brought all her own flooring. She's put all these windows in. So all the trim along all that and you know, you'll have a wood stove and a mini split mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yeah there you go you can see the kitchen better man this is looking good should show them my uh the ship's ladder that's on wheels out there that's going under there oh that's right yeah she put a ship's ladder on wheels and then under the kitchen you can see under the kitchen is at bright lights messing this up i will do this again here. underneath there is a uh what do you have underneath here heidi um, it can be a third room, but um, I'm putting my um, on-demand hot water heat and my cat door. Um, I'll use it mostly for storage or gas. Yes, yeah. big storage. That's like eight, seven by eight, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'll let you go. That's okay. Thanks for letting us see that. All right. So what's that? I mean, we got Heidi working all day. We got this one going, and then we got uh, Dennis. It's starting on the Hobbit. The Hobbit will be what will be at our Tennessee Jam. That's going to be Ivy on it. He started stuck on the inside of that. Whew. We had Carol, um, Kevin working on steps. Oh, this is her sip ladder stairs. Look at this. We got our rollers. Oh. All right. So how's that work? Is that she'll walk up? She's got locks on it. You can lock it down. And then when she's when she's down, she can put it in her storage underneath the kitchen, and she'll shove it underneath there. She has her own solar and her own panels, and she has little lithium batteries that she brought. So we're going to put her over into the community. She's staying in the community. Jen's staying in the community. Kenzie's staying for the jam. The jam. And well, old Penny will be here at the jam with her house. So all these will be able to be viewed. That'll be at the jam. We got a big 12 by 36 Hobbit that'll be at the jam. It's got gothic lights in it. And we've got a bunch more that's gonna be coming. All right, so anyway, I'll let you go. This is a Friday night. We wanna show you what we did today. Plus, I think uh, we had a couple guests. I talked to Lou. Hey, Lou, enjoyed talking to you today. We're trying to get him a home. Uh, we signed a couple contracts today on a couple more homes. Uh, we signed one for a December build. Uh, gosh, what was her name? Came from Mount Oxville. Um, you remember? Christy. Was it Craig? Christy. Christy came in. 
She, uh, she's building a house. She put a deposit down and building a house. She's coming in December, right? We're having a workshop in December. She's coming in, building a house. Her, I think her uncle or brother-in-law is a carpenter and help her build her house. It's a 20, 20 footer with a cantilever reverse law. Got that down. And we've got an also another one that we did with uh, a young couple. They're coming in. Uh, they probably won't be done the first year and they want to do like Southern draw. So Rick, they loved your home. And that was a Southern draw we built about six, seven months ago. Keeping track of all these is no problem. You get to know everybody. So, oh, and then, um, oh, that one will be here. Uh, Chelsea's probably stay for the jam. Chelsea, unless we get it back up to you, we got the solar coming in next week. And then of course, Ashley is one going to California, but they're on a honeymoon into Paris until the 28th of the month. So we will get to that for the jam. The 24 hour build will be there. I'm gonna move into it. And I think I'm gonna start living in the 24 hour um, home and I'll call Matt I'm just gonna get in there and clean it up and that's where the bed pulls out underneath the kitchen so I'll show you that one too got a lot going on and of course our, our uh, Highland home with the thatch roof will be there to see we got a ton of stuff and all this is just incredible tiny home stuff it's nobody else no competitors uh, Brian said we got seven vendors that'll be there for food we've got a band we're gonna have our bonfires we're gonna have our guest speakers Todd with RBAH will be there we're thinking about um, having a couple other special guest speakers that'll be coming in, uh, plus myself, John talking about the solar and the water, Brian talking about our communities and where we're going and how we, how we work all that out, all right? So enjoy your Friday night. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow night with our exciting, fun evening, hopefully to make you guys enjoy your life a little bit, all right? Oh, and thank you for uh, Steve, uh, Jim. Jim come by today. Uh, Jim was from... Jersey, he's a school teacher. He came by and he's going to build a tiny house in his school. He flew in and he wanted to learn from us what he could do to show his students how to build a house. I showed him how we were framing. He got to see how we were framing, how we were plumbing. He got to see the water catchment system. And he was going to stay a couple days, but he said, Man, I learned everything I need to learn in a day. So he went to see some family in Chattanooga and be flying back out Sunday morning. I tell everybody, these homes are simple to build. That's why when you come here for six days, you can build a house. We'll show you how simple, it's not rocket science what we do, all right? This one with four different roof levels, it's a little tough. We do the framing for you. You could participate if you think you can do the framing, that's fine. It's just hard to do in six days. So we get to that point right there, and then you take over from there. We do not perform any more work for you physically. You physically have to do the work yourself, but we have a supervisor that works with you, all right? Whew. Have I stopped breathing? No. Take a pause. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for the opportunity to, to, to do this business and to have this opportunity. It's just, uh, just, I'm just glad to have this. I really am. Thank you for helping us and tuning in. Uh, share the video, right? Google review if you could. Thank God they say if you could Google review, it'll help us out. And we'd like to get on the top and really show everybody our company. We want to show them our workshops. We went to the Decatur show and they couldn't believe that we had a workshop and people could actually come here and physically, physically build their homes. And that's what you do. All right. Thank you. I got to go. John's waiting on me. Have a good night. We'll see you tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, right? Whenever you want me to be here. So you don't yeah, have right. to be here. Oh, whatever. God. All right. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> have a good night.